Hey guys, what's up? This is Theron F. Killer, and today I'm coming at you with another video on my Airsoft Essentials series. So this video is about primary weapons. So as you see here, I have four primary weapons. Um, they're not all the types of primary weapons, but yet I have four. So in this video, I'm going to ask you, or have you guys ask yourselves a few questions when you're deciding what primary you want, and just tell you about different things. So why don't we start off with what kind of primary weapons there are. So, first and foremost, we're going to get the AEG out. So, the AEG stands for Automatic Electric Gun, and it's something like this Thompson, or over there, the P90. Now, there are also spring rifles, which are like, you know, something that may look like a Thompson, or it is a Thompson, but it's not electric, and it's just spring, and it's cheaper, and uh, cheaply, or cheaper made, I guess. Um, but it's just, you know, powered by spring instead of by battery. Then they've got sniper rifles, which is, they can be powered by batteries, or they can also be powered by spring. So it's like an AEG, but yet it has the extended barrel, um, or the longer barrel, and is styled after a sniper rifle. Now, a sniper rifle, though, a spring sniper rifle, uh, has a bolt which you pull back, and then you can you cock the weapon, and you can fire a bullet to one round at a time. So, those are just three types. There are also shotguns. Right there, I've got a shotgun right there. It's a spring weapon. Um, but they also have CO2 shotguns, like they're the UTG, I think it is, and it might be like even three shot. Um, but they have different shotguns out there. You can check out all these types of guns on evike.com. And last but not least, we've got the uh, gas rifle right here. This is a Matrix 1892 rifle, and it is powered by green gas. Um, so, they're gas blowback, and then uh, the, maybe there's not any other gas ones, but this is, I think, gas blowback, um, at least maybe somewhat. It's not like an A, or it's not like a rifle styled after um, an AEG, but this is, I guess, still a gas rifle. Moving on then, when you're deciding a gun, you guys need to ask yourselves questions. So first question is, what is the price um, that you are willing to spend? So what is your price range? Are you looking 100 to 200 dollars, 200 to 300, or even less than 100 dollars? Now there are guns of all different prices and different price ranges. So you can go to evike.com and check out different guns. But in your head, have your price or have it written down so that you do not go above a certain value. Um, do not go all out when you could get a gun. If you're just starting, you know, and you want a gun um, that's $100 to $200, you can go with something like a JG or a Matrix, um, Cyber Gun, something like that. And then if you're looking for like a $400 plus dollar gun around there, you can go with like a VFC, so it really depends on your price range. You can check out evike.com for the different brands and different prices on the brands and all those things. So, next gun, or next question, what size gun do you want? So, do you want something like the Thompson, where it is, you know, a rifle? It's got, it's not, it is a submachine gun, but it is not um, something like a P90, which is, you know, CQB, really. Um, so, if you're looking for something with range, maybe go with the Thompson. Um, or if you're looking, you know, something with a longer barrel, um, M4 sniper rifle, something like that, or an M16 sniper rifle, um, you know, whatever, something with a long barrel. Um, and if you're looking for something like what, you know, weight you want, if you wanted something 3 to 5 pounds or 8 to 9 pounds, you really need to ask yourself the question, what weight do I want? Because if you're going overboard and you're going something 9, 10 pounds and you're just like a little guy, um, age like 12, and you're not that strong, um, like to be able to hold up a 10 pound gun all day at an airsoft event or whatever you're doing, you know, you might not want a 10 pound gun, you might want something that is, you know, with a metal gearbox, but it's made of plastic on the external. If you're looking for AEGs, you're going to want something with a metal gearbox, straight up metal gearbox. I uh, don't want something plastic. I mean, it's better if it's reinforced plastic, but still, we should probably go with a metal gearbox, something maybe a version 2 or something like that. So, I think the Thompson P90, they probably have metal gearboxes version 2. Thompson's got metal gearbox. P90 
P90 mic. I got that actually in a box of super awesomeness, as well as my G36C in a box of super awesomeness. Anyhow, um, so yes, metal gearboxes, those are great with AEGs, and you just want to make sure you have those. So if you're looking for something though that is, you know, not eight pounds, you might not want to go with a full external uh, feel to it and their full external metal. So that's weighed down, you know, a lot. So you might want to go something with plastic, like this JG over here. I think this is a JG. This is a P90 anyhow, um, and it's plastic on the outside, and doesn't even, you know, you can have like a King Arms. It's mostly plastic actually. It's got some metal there, but there's like a King Arms version I think out there that's like. 200 plus dollars and just because it's plastic on the outside guys doesn't mean it's a bad weapon because that gun has metal internals I'm pretty sure of um, and it's just meant to be light for on the field guys so even if it has plastic on the outside don't judge the gun um, and say it's a bad weapon just because it's made of plastic on the externals. Moving on to another question. What type of airsoft are you going to be playing? Are you going to be playing in the woods? Are you going to be playing in a wide open field? Are you going to be playing in an actual field? Are you going to be playing backyard airsoft? Or are you going to be playing CQB? Now CQB stands for Close Quarters Battle, if you did not know that. Um, or CQC, which is Close Quarters Combat. So, you might want to, if you are playing CQB, you might want to go with something like the P90. It's got, you know, close range. Uh, styled gun. It's very short. Um, instead of something maybe as this rifle right here, this is not so much CQB. The FPS is super high. Um, if you're looking for a gun that's CQB, you're going to want something probably below 300 in 50 FPS or around 350 FPS. You know, below that probably. If you're, it depends on the field really and where you're going. Or if you're playing with your friends, I guess check with them. If they don't, I'm guessing they don't want to get shot by like 400 FPS within like 30 feet. Um, just saying that. Anyhow, so determine what kind of airsoft you're going to be playing before you get an AEG. Next, rate of fire. Do you want something like a Thompson with, you know, whatever range, rate of fire it has? This actually has a really fast rate of fire with uh, the 9.6 volt battery I have, 1600 milliamp. So if you're looking for something with a high rate of fire, the Thompson actually does have that. But if you're looking for something, you know, if you don't want a lower range of fire, Check out guns, see their rate of fires, check out reviews online, look at evike.com, and uh, try to see a gun that is good for you. If it's got a really low rate of fire, you might not want that unless you're using a low-powered AEG and you're just a starter, because they do have those things called low-powered AEGs. If you're maybe 10, around there, and you're like, I don't want to hurt my friends, I don't want you know something that is like 400 FPS or even 330, 350, you know, something like that, you can go with a low-powered AEG. They're generally less than $100, um, and they're pretty cheap, uh, maybe $30, $50, depends on which one. There is one, I think a Lancer Tactical, that is $80 out there, um, and I'm guessing that's pretty well made for a low-powered AEG. Now, um, low-powered AEG is also going to tend to have uh, probably a 7.2-volt battery instead of an 8.4, um, and it wouldn't have as high rate of fire, and the FPS would not be as high. So if you're playing backyard airsoft, you're a beginner, you might want to go with a low-powered AEG. Now, there's also the you know higher power AEGs, like Thompson that has 466 FPS with 0.12 gram BBs. That's a high FPS, but it is, again, 0.12 grams. Um, so, yeah, depends on what you want. FPS, rate of fire, you guys need to think about that before deciding your rifle. Now, if you're someone, also, you want a lot of range, you're probably going to want to go with something that has a longer barrel, um, so that the weapon, you know, can go, I guess, is more accurate, um, or something like a, like a sniper, because snipers, they tend to have longer range than, you know, like a P90 over here. Um, I'd say my sniper, I think it's 210 feet, actually, is like the distance for my sniper, which is pretty dang far compared to um, this P90 over here, yeah, I don't think you can shoot 210 feet. Just putting that out there, guys. So, if you're someone who is going to be in, you know, an environment that you can snipe and you really like snipers, why don't you go ahead with the sniper? But, if you're someone who's going to be like, you know what, I want a short barrel, I don't really care the range, carry, yeah, I don't really care about the range, um, and I'm going to play CQB, you can go with like something like a P90, okay? Um, and... 
also. AEGs, um, other guns, you, you can put like silencers on. So a silencer, it doesn't really silence the weapon. It actually extends the barrel. So if you're extending that barrel, you can probably make the gun more accurate. And the range could also be better. So if you're using an extended barrel, like on an M4, you've got a silencer on there, um, or an M16, you know, just make it more accurate or have more range. That's one piece of information. Silencers don't silence your airsoft guns. Basically, they're what they're called, mock suppressors. They're not real suppressors, okay, guys? Now, also, um, what kind of airsoft are you going to be? Are you going to be someone who's flanking a lot? Are you going to be someone who's camping, you know, with at a fair distance away from the enemy team, where you could be sniping? Or are you going to be a rusher, where you're going to want something to be able to spray and pray with? That's my motto, spray and pray. And you're going to want something like, I don't know, a Thompson, where you're rushing on people, maybe taking some cover, firing at them, and suppressing them a lot. Um, or are you going to be someone who's like a stealthy person? Are you going to want to uh, have maybe... Uh, a less a weapon that weighs less, you can run faster with it and, you know, flank the enemy team, I guess, with your stealth and whatever. Um, it, it really depends. You guys should think about that before choosing a weapon. Now, just going to go ahead and say this. My video is already pretty long, as you can see. I don't know what time it is, but it's probably going to be a very long video because AEGs, you know, you just, there's a lot of information out there about primary weapons, um, gas weapons, spring, all those different things. So, I'm going to continue on now.